Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back with another video. Today it is going to be top 10 things you may not know about Minecraft. So starting it off with Jesus is laggy. Um, is Dev Strider works on mobs. So if we let these guys free. Oh, didn't mean to punch him. As you can see, the guy with Depth Strider is going a lot faster than the guy without. There was just a villager here to show that that works. Anyway, moving on to the next fact. Okay, so the next fact is that mushroom cows can be sheared and they turn back into a regular tau. Ca tau cow. And they drop five mushrooms. So if you have mushrooms and want cows, that's how you do it, I guess. So moving on to the next fact. On to the next fact now. Chainmail armor can be crafted with fire, as you can see here. However, this will not work in 1.8 as the fire item has been removed. But in 1.7 and below, this completely works. So you can craft yourself up a chain set of armor but this will not work in survival without cheats so on to the next fact next fact is naming a mob uh, doesn't work on villagers actually <laughs> one second <laughs> let's find a non village mob where are those cows from the previous thing over here naming a mob dinner bone or grum oh dinner bone with a capital D sorry oh everything's going wrong today where did the stone come from but naming a mob Grum or Dinner Bone with a capital D, remember, will turn the mob upside down. As you can see with this chicken. So you can make... Let's let's just make all the mobs around this area. Let's make failed Dinner Bone. Where is... Where are these bits of stone coming from? I don't know. But as you can see, it turns pretty much any mob upside down. I don't... It, it works with the villagers if you name their spawn egg. And I think it even works with the Ender Dragon if you do the command correctly. But on to the next fact. Okay, so next fact. Similar to the last one, if you name a sheep Jeb underscore, it becomes a rainbow sheep. And this does also work on survival. So you can have rainbow sheep in your survival. But however, if you do shear them, it just shears um, the same wool as the sheep started off being. So on to the next fact. Next fact is, if zombies are locked onto a villager, they will completely ignore you. As you can see, I'm in survival and running around these zombies. There is just a villager just past this glass. I can't, you can't see it because of all the zombies. The zombies will completely ignore you. Unless you hit them, and then they will not. So that's a really easy way to just make a quick little escape route, really. If you want to make zombies all go to one place and completely ignore you, put that, not put down a villager, just find a village, store a villager, zombies will go flooding for miles. Next fact is, a dragon egg can be broken in survival mode by either a piston, or falling onto a lever, a torch, rails, slabs, or flowers. It also works with repeaters, redstone torches, anything of sort of like, that's sort of a block, but like, not a full block, if you know what I'm saying. It's like a transparent block, let's say. Except glass, it doesn't work with glass, but stuff like that. That is the next fact, moving on to the next fact after that. Right, next fact is, hostile mobs won't spawn in mushroom biomes. And that also includes the caves underneath it as well. So if you want a safe place for mining, and building your house live on a mushroom biome they are literally the safest place you can get in minecraft next fact next fact is you can place item frames on a ton of different blocks including pressure plates fences glass panes doors hoppers chests and item frames the m biggest i think i didn't know about was pressure plates yes you can place ice frames on just um, pressure plates um, so far the only things I found you couldn't place them on were levers buttons and I didn't actually try repeaters yeah or nor repeaters you can't place them on them or carpet I tried but these are some of the blocks that you can experiment for yourself and finally for the last fact you can place sugarcane underwater 
providing that there is a block down next to it, so you can't just place it anywhere, and it's on sand or gravel, uh, sand or dirt, sorry. You can place it underwater to create a neat coral reef effect, or just if you need an air bubble. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. There are some things you may not know about Minecraft. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.